We're not typically involved in the day-to-day -day logistics and what's getting moved from point A to point B. Um, we're there to come in uh, if something bad happens. The Brown County Sheriff's Office is prepared to respond should hazardous waste spill in our area. But deputies aren't responsible for constantly monitoring what's on the roads and rails. The process starts with the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources as they issue Environmental Protection Agency ID numbers and hazardous waste transportation service licenses. We regulate the pre-transportation requirements that waste have to be packaged in a certain manner. But once when it's on the road or on the rails, that's not regulated by Wisconsin DNR from the, from the hazardous waste program. From there, hazardous waste moving along rail corridors is regulated by the Federal Railroad Administration and the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. The Sheriff's Office can see what's on trains rolling through Green Bay right in the palm of their hand by using an app on their phone. The number 1170, that's ethanol, it's a flammable liquid. Our deputies can scroll down and they can see um, how big of an area we need to evacuate. That number, visible in the center of a diamond on the side of some train cars, boats, and semis traveling through our state. That app is called the Emergency Response Guidebook, and it's free to download for anyone interested in learning about what's moving through Northeast Wisconsin. We train to take a look at that, take that half a second, look at it, see what's involved, see what kind of danger, if any, that it poses, and then you can adjust your response from there. In Green Bay, Emily Roberts, Action 2 News.